Navigating the grocery store to choose the foods that are best for your health can be overwhelming. Don't be distracted by the words and the advertising on the front of the package. Always look to the Nutrition Facts label to use as your guide. Understanding how to use the Nutrition Facts label gets easier with time and practice. Let's break it down to the basics. Looking at the label, we always want to start from the top and work our way down. So the first thing we want to look for is the serving size. All of the numbers on the label are based off that one serving size. So if you're going to eat more than just that one serving, you're going to be getting more than just what's on the label. Let's start with this can of green beans. This can has a serving size of one half of a cup. So if you're going to be eating a whole cup instead of just a half of a cup, you need to multiply all of the numbers by two. So instead of just getting 290 milligrams of sodium, you're actually going to be getting 580 milligrams of sodium. Next, you'll find the servings per container. That's the number of servings in the package based off the serving size. So it's easy to think that this bag of chips is just one serving. But really, when you look at the label, there's actually three servings in this one bag. There are a lot of foods like this, especially coming from a lot of our snack foods. Make sure you're keeping an eye on the number of servings per container to make sure that you know what you're really eating. Moving down the label, everything below the serving information are the nutrients in that food. There are some nutrients that you want to keep low and others that you want to keep high. But how do you know if they're low or high? This percent daily value on the right side can be your guide. We can go into detail about what percent daily value really means, but it is kind of confusing. So I'm going to break it down for you by sharing a quick tip. Rule of thumb, 5% and lower is low, and 20% and higher is high. So the nutrients that we want to keep low, for instance, sugar, saturated fat, and sodium, we want to look for a percent daily value at or below 5% and nutrients that we want to keep high, like fiber, vitamins, and minerals, we want to look for a percent daily value near 20% or higher. Note that if the fiber, vitamins, and minerals aren't high, it doesn't necessarily mean that that food isn't good. It just means that they're not a good source of those nutrients in that food. So you're gonna want to get those nutrients from other sources of food throughout your day. The more we practice reading labels, the easier it becomes to know what we're looking for in each food. Let's take a look at this box of cereal. Cereal is really high in sugar. For this box of cereal, the serving size is one cup. But how often are you really eating just one cup of cereal? So if you're going to really be eating two cups of cereal, you're going to be eating 36 grams of sugar instead of 18 grams of sugar. That's 36 grams of sugar in one bowl of cereal. The last thing to look at on the Nutrition Facts label is the ingredients list. The ingredients tell you what that food is made of. So the ingredients are listed strategically. So the ingredient that the product has the most of is labeled first, followed by the second most ingredient, and so on. So if you're looking down at the label and you see the word sugar within the first three ingredients, Keep in mind that that product contains mostly sugar. Label reading is a skill that gets a lot easier the more that you practice. Once it becomes part of your basic routine, you'll be able to make the best informed decisions for what you buy. Happy shopping!